Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at the Wi-Fi analyzer. Now, quite a few of you were interested in the Wi-Fi analyzer and what it actually does and how you can use it to troubleshoot and diagnose network issues on your home network. Now, what it's gonna do is allow you to find out how strong the signal is in your home and try to locate dead spots in your home. Now, the Wi-Fi analyzer can be got on the Google Play Store for free, and you should see it on your screen right now. You just have to download it and install it, and this is an Android phone. Now, up the top here, this is our graph. We've got a graph here, and you can see this blue one is my network here, and it's telling me the signal strength of this right here, and you'll see it changing all of the time. Uh, down the bottom are the network uh, locations uh, on in my area, so you can see here we do have TalkTalk, Talk, and a bunch of other ones like BT and so on. Now what you may find is that the area here uh, is the area which is mine and if there is a load of them on here like loads of these little color hoops here this means there's a lot of people using the channel that you are using and you can see there's 1 to 14 here. Now the goal is is to try to find a channel which is not congested and not being used by virtually everyone in your facility. You want to try to use one that is uh, lightly used and that way you're gonna get a better chance to get in a better internet. Now also up here as well, you'll see 2.4G. If I change, tap this, it will go to 5G. And you can see there's only two people using 5G in my vicinity, me, and someone else, which is called TalkTalk. Talk. And you can see here, uh, they are pretty way down the pecking order here. I'm way up here, and this is perfect for what I need. So that's how you can uh, sort of pick out 2.4 and five gigahertz. Also, another thing you can do here, so these are your channels, and this is your strength here. Now, up the top, we have a little Y, and you can do the time graph. Now the time graph will give you the state of your network over time. Basically it will show you uh, what it's like. And also we have channel rating. And you can see here, it'll give you an overall rating of the best channel uh, for my network. So you've got channel 14 here, and we've got channel 13, and so on. So it gives you an idea of how good these channels are on what channel you should be using. Uh, the less congested, these are the most congested ones down here, uh, and these are obviously the ones that are not being used as much. So you could physically change those in your router uh, to that channel. Let me just sh quickly show you what that looks like. So now you're seeing uh, the router settings and router menu, which I've got, which is Virgin Media, and you should be able to see the channel here and which means you'll be able to change the channel for your uh, network and it's pretty straightforward you would just change this channel like so and uh, you could uh, basically uh, change it to whatever you like and try to use one that is not uh, as, congest as congested as the ones that we've seen here okay so let's go back to the app and you can see here let's click on the i and go to ap list now the AP list, as you can see here, is all the networks here listed. Um, so you can see we've got all the networks listed here. BT, Virgin Media, there's a few of those, Talk Talk, Bit, BT Wi-Fi, and so on, okay? Let's go down to the signal meter. Now the signal meter is gonna help you uh, diagnose uh, the strength of the Wi-Fi network. So you can walk around your home with the meter, and uh, when you move around your home, if you've got very poor Wi-Fi, this will suddenly drop down. Now, if you've got very strong Wi-Fi, it should stay pretty it much in the green. And uh, this will fluctuate every time you get a weaker signal. Now, there is a sound feature here, but it's quite annoying, so I leave that off, but basically it just beeps. Now, obviously, the, if you go, as you go around the vicinity of your home, depending on the size of your home, will determine how strong the uh, Wi-Fi network is. Now, also try to point uh, the Wi-Fi antenna towards your router and stuff like that, otherwise 
you may find it just drop right off. So just try and do that there and you should be a good way of detecting where you've got dead spots in your home. And these dead spots are where you have very low or poor quality Wi-Fi signal. Now this area down here is the actual network that we've selected. Now you can select other people's networks here to find out the signal strength for that network and it should give you all the information right here as you can see here. So some of these are very low and this is what happens when you walk around your home. You will see the meter going up and down and this is exactly what you're trying to do. You're trying to determine how strong your network is in certain locations of your home and maybe in the uh, boundaries of your garden or on your patio and things like that. You want to try and test all these and as soon as you find a dead spot you may want to strengthen up uh, that network signal and you can use something like a mesh network to do that which you see in my video uh, yesterday. So that is basically all the features on the uh, Wi-Fi analyzer here. We do have a little spanner or wrench uh, here and you can see there's some areas here that we can uh, take a look at available channels and you've also got available channels for 5 gigahertz and so on you can click on these and this means that uh, these are the channels here listed okay so I'm just going to go back cancel go back here and you've got your 2.4 ones as well go back and you've got some other areas in inside here where you can change colors and merge uh, duplicate APs, uh, group mode for list and uh, so on. There's some ticks on some of these. Show uh, full securities, you can do that as well. And uh, pretty much that's it. So you've got all your stuff here that you can take a look at. Let me go back and we've got these three dots here which is your snapshot. You can take a snapshot. You've also got some tools where you can drop into some tools here. Uh, land neighbors and also let's just take a look here so you can see this gives you some information. There we go. And pretty much that is the Wi-Fi analyzer and that's how you use it. It's a very powerful little tool. It's a free little app and it's a great way of trying to detect some dead spots in your home. Okay, so if you've got a large home and you're finding it very difficult to connect to your tablet or to, uh, you know, to your phone or laptop or something like that, using this tool will help find out where those dead spots are and then you can do something about them and then check the speed here and hopefully you should see um, you know, a much stronger signal. Now also what you can do is send large files across the network as well and you would sometimes see over the Wi-Fi this drop right down and this is a, a weaker uh, signal. So basically you can do this and then obviously I'm right close to the uh, router but if you're further away when you start trying to send a, a large file across the network by Wi-Fi you sometimes see a big drop off uh, because obviously it's starting to lose signal and the uh, meter here will drop right down and uh, that's what you don't want. You want to try and keep it steady in the green and you should be pretty much good to go from there. So that's pretty much it for the uh, Wi-Fi analyzer. A couple of people did ask about it so I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys uh, but that's basically how you can use it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.